Raider Nation. Raider Nation. Raider Nation. Raider Nation. This is your president speaking. And I approve this message. Oakland Raiders. Oakland Raiders. Oakland Raiders. Just win, baby. Win, baby. Win, baby. We are the Oakland Raiders. What's up, guys? Um, just finished watching day two of the NFL draft today. Um, we had two picks today, one in the second round, of course, which we acquired in the trade yesterday um, with the Dolphins. That was the 30, the 42nd pick overall, as well as uh, the third round pick that we already had, which was pick number 66 in the third round. Um, so with the second round, um, we took uh, Florida State uh, offensive tackle, um, Menelik Watson, uh, which is a good pick for, to, for us because that's a position of need. We need a right tackle. Um, Khalif Barnes is getting old. Um, he's quite average. And his backup is Willie Smith, who if you watched last season, he was probably one of, if not the worst right tackle in the league. But, um, yeah, happy with the pick. Um, he was rated by many to be the fifth best um, offensive tackle on the board. Um, he was the best left available, so to take him, I think, was a, uh, a good choice. Um, he's, um, he's he's from Manchester, England, and he he's actually a he came over to the U.S. to play basketball, and um, he only took up football, I think, in his um, sophomore or junior season. So he's only been playing for two, three years, but he's already um, been able to make an impact, and now he's been drafted in the second round. He's he's going to be a Raider. Um, by watching his tape, I mean, you know, he looks he looks apparently he's 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 he's, he's a little raw. He's he's got to work on his uh, upper body technique, and um, he's he's got to work on his his his, his pass protection, but. You know, he's, uh, apparently he's already there in regards to run blocking, which is going to be good for us, opening up the holes for Darren McFadden back in the power blocking scheme. And um, he's going to have good good, good footwork, um, you know, deriving from his basketball days. But um, he's still raw, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of belief that he can develop and his um, upside is, uh, you know, sky high for... Uh, Offensive tackle, but uh, a good pick again. Uh, happy with it. Uh, it was it's a position of need, so yeah. Um, in round three, um, we selected a Yukon um, outside linebacker, uh, Co Moore. Um, I, I didn't think that linebacker would be um, too much of a position of need um, considering we got a, quite a few we signed quite a few linebackers in the off season but um, we definitely needed a pass rusher and, and this guy like you know watching his tape um, he's you know he's got all the skills I mean he seems so, so versatile he, he, he's, he's, he, he can rush the pass he, he can uh, the rush the passer. Uh, he he he's good at run stopping. He he, he can um, stop the, the the passing game as well. He's he's not too bad. He's got a few pass. Um, he racked up a few interceptions and 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 defended a few passes in in in, in college. Um, so he's quite a versatile player, and you know I think he's got a lot to bring to the table. Um, so. I think that's a, a pretty decent pick there. Um, Talent-wise, he, he could be he could be the best linebacker in the draft. Uh, who knows? I mean, from, from everything that I've seen and everything I've read, I mean, you know, you look at his production in in college. Uh, you know, <laughs> if we can cat, pick it up here, uh, you know, last year in his in his senior season, I mean, seventy-two tackles. 15.5 tackles for a loss, 8 sacks, 11 passes broken up. Uh, the season before, 86 
tackles, 16 for a loss, 6.5 sacks, 6 passes broken up and 2 forced fumbles. Uh, I mean, you know, that's <laughs> that's some good numbers, uh, you know, and a few interceptions to go with it. So, I mean, it'd be good to have a, a linebacker. I mean, we, we, we haven't had a linebacker who can also help out in the in the passing game for a while now. Um, Phil, Wheeler, Phil Wheeler wasn't too bad last year, but... Um, you know, of course, he's gone now, so I'm not. I'm not sure about the other linebackers, the ones that we got in free agency. But um, yeah, I'm ha- again. I'm happy with with Co Moore. It, it, looking at his tape, he he, he looks the good. So um, yeah, that's the, the the recap for day two. Um, day three, we've we've got a fourth round pick. Um, we don't have a fifth round. I believe we have two sixth rounds and two seventh rounds. So. That's five picks left um, to acquire some more depth. Um, I believe there's still some good talent left in fourth round. Um, so yeah, well, it's exciting again, exciting times uh, for day three. But um, yeah, uh, Menelik Watson, uh, Co Moore, uh, welcome to the Raiders. Um, I'm sure they're both going to do us proud as well as uh, DJ Hayden. But um, yeah, welcome to the Raiders. Raider Nation, baby.